Why don't you? I can throw you off yeah. the top rope. You cannot throw me off the top rope. Bet? I know. I don't want to <laughs> bet that. Let's jump into this next set. We got Pokemon Stadium 2. Coming up to bat, we got Rex Don representing Fox McCloud as Unk 2, representing the original Fire Emblem hero, Marth. Maybe it's Unk Square. Unk Square? Unk you think, Square. You think it's supposed to be that? Unk, Unk. Let's call him Unk Square. I like that. <laughs> so we got Square McUnk coming up to bat <laughs> with the Marth, Marth McCloud. Marth McCloud. Uh, yeah, he's I a, want, he's a relative of cousin of Fox. Ah. Look at these four smashes on the platform, man, trying to catch those little jumps. Catching landings with up smash yeah. too. We don't need strong combos. No, no. We don't at care all. about nerf foxes. Wait, we just want to hit hard. Honestly, Rex is just throwing out. They're both just like throwing out these heavy attacks. What a, what a game. Honestly, that's another feature of con tournaments that I absolutely love. Is like, you get people with that fighting spirit, but they might not know like the proper combo trees, but they definitely know how to duff someone. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go, trying to mix him up with a grab. Looking for that. He knew he was gonna go for the fox illusion, so we had a down tilt coming out just in time. Oh, Shield Breaker always bringing the hype, but yeah. I don't know if you could just throw it out right in Fox's face. Not I'm, the kind of character. I mean, if they're going to hold Shield right in front of you, the thing... So here's the thing, right? Mart's not technically a command grabber, but he has a way to duff Shield out, you know? Him oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Said, uh, Neutral B has the ability... Oh, that dragged him hold in! Hold on. All right, so cool feature of Jebs in this game for those who are unaware. Jebs have two hitboxes. Mm -hmm. They have a hitbox to drag you in. They have a hitbox to drag you out. It's so a mechanic added so that they could, you know, make jabs more consistent so you don't get people just drifting out of the jabs of, like, Duck Hunter or Robin. Right. Now, it's, not, it's not like Smash 4 where they gave their jab to Krom and Roy to be able to combo off of now. Yeah. So now every character has that little bit of a drag down effect, but something happened in 3.0. Okay. We're just doing that. We have a flip. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's what it goes for. You drop them to the platform, you get a up smash, you kick them to the ceiling, and that's a three stock to one stock lead. It probably is. Listen, if it works, it's working. And it really is, as Rex Dawn's sitting at that three stock count still. And honestly, not even really that threatened by Marth. 107, fairly early considering what Smash's premier swordsman is able to put out. And that's one of the downsides, because we actually don't see Marth too often anymore since like the beginning of Ultimate, because everyone's just kind of like. Mutually agreed that Lucina is like the better counterpart because you don't have to rely on spacing that tipper every single time. Yes, it is mad explosive compared to Lucina's like just ba base sword, but that requires you to be on point at all times. And speaking of on point, Rex Don just waiting. Honestly, all Rex was doing was punishing. That's yeah. all. He was just waiting for Unk Square to just go for a swing, either like whether that be a shield breaker, an aerial, what have you. And Rex is just like, okay, land right in front of me and up smash. And all three of his kills, I believe, were up smash. I mean, when you go for those slip kicks, you know, you gotta... My, 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 honestly, how much energy do you think Fox exerts when he, like, flips back flips like that? I feel like not too much. He's definitely got to be used yeah. to having, like, mechanically assisted legs. Right. I think it's, like, 3.1 gigahertz worth of energy, <laughs> in my honest opinion. After doing the math in my head... And you know, going to the going I, to the blackboard in the back. You I know? think I think teacher's gonna ask you to prove your work on this. I one. I uh, no. What what's the average strength of a of a Vulpin's hind legs? A fox up smash. Someone hit Wikipedia up real quick. I need to find out. I don't want to know this. How fast can a fox go? Don't at me. I don't want to know this. We definitely can do the math on this. All right, let's jump into this game too. We got Rex Don going with a insane three stock. Come jumping into this next game. Let's see if Unk Squared can try to like. Take a deep breath, find his inner core, and see what happens. Game two bringing us to Smashville. I think it's a very dangerous, but a decent enough pick for Marth. I feel like Marth able to control the space really well. Marth and Lucina do a fantastic job of pushing out from center stage and controlling the ledge. However, I feel like with Fox's speed and Reston's willingness to just control space with Nair, <laughs> There's not going to be a lot of room to fight. Hold up. Rex just, like, he used Nair four times he, in a row. On, this is... This is disrespectful. He definitely told Marth to check out the new yeah. kicks. Now, what's up with that forward smash earlier as well? Did you see him like land that forward smash mid charge because he knew Uncle Square was gonna like swing in front of him? Rex is having fun. He might be playing with his food a bit. Hey, listen, if there's any time to do it, you might as well do it on stream. Hey. Give everybody a good show. You know, put on a message. I mean, this is round two of winners. That means both these opponents have defeated someone to get here. One of those victories might be a buy, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, <laughs> Salt landing right in front of him. We got that up smash ready to go. Another Nair. That's literally all he's doing. He's just throwing out those Nairs. And Unkswear doesn't seem to have an oh, answer. Oh, hold on what now. What the frick? Yo, the fact that it almost worked, though. It the did. fact that it almost worked. It did work, man. All Let's right. be real. It applied pressure to him. It did some, did some very nice damage, and then he got back to the stage. Built the percentage. Yep, that's all you got to do. So, 
if anything, looking at this particular Fox player is a nice way of boiling down, like, where Fox sits for his core tools. Mm. Like, it's a lot of baiting punish. We see a lot of dash attack, a lot of nair. We're starting to see the up tilts come out, which is a bit more traditional, but a lot of this is just punishing bad landings and then tracing with your aerials. And then if you try to swing silly, you get duffed for it. I just want to see Unk Square to get a stock. I will pop off. If we see Marth get a forward smash, a tipper to forward smash, and just take off Rex Don. He can do it. I believe in him. Not, not if he keeps on getting caught Never out. mind. <laughs> Okay, good job. Rex Don got a double three stock. Moving on through the bracket. Unk Squared going to be fighting later on down in the lower bracket. Loser's bracket. But you know what? Unk Squared almost got that stock, you know? Almost. I believed him. But the second he got thrown airborne by Rex Don, he had so much trouble going for the landing. And uh, th these are the nares I was talking about. He was just spamming the nares. And but hey, it worked. Again. That was sick. I like that. Because it put him in. See, that's what I'm saying. Like you said it didn't work. It did work. It put him into a very precarious position to force out that air dodge and get an up smash right afterwards. So six up smashes later. And uh, we're moving on through the bracket. So yep. <laughs> that's right. Sometimes a character just needs like three or four really good tools. And you don't have to worry about how effective the rest of them are. Because well, after that, it's just like bonus material. Up smash. Get landing the up smash. Oh my god, they are wrestling. Yes. Look at them go. Can I put the camera on them? They are no, going they're, at they're, it. They stop for a sec. They're just testing the waters. I want to see someone get duffed. If someone doesn't break their neck, I'm not having fun. I need to see someone like get paralyzed at this point. Okay, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I'm trying to see that underground good good, man. Let's go.